I W I N. So prior to any examination, remember to use this. When you uh, identify yourself as a healthcare provider, who you are and what your role will be, you know, uh, health assessment or whatever you're doing when you're taking care of them. Wash your hands, or you can just use the cleanser that's provided at whatever facility you are at. Uh, cleans your hands with that hand sanitizer. So you want to wash your hands before you touch anything in your patient's environment. I see all the time that students are coming into the patient's room, identifying themselves, and then going straight to identifying the patient. I do not want to see that in the checkoffs or even in the clinical setting. I do want each and every student to wash their hands before they touch anything. The next I would be identifying your patient. Uh, when we say identifying the patient, you want to make sure that there is some kind of ID that you are actually looking at, especially in the hospital setting, they will have their armband there. So you want to bring your chart or there might be a computer system that might have their information on there and you want to ask very clearly what their full name is. And you want to be looking at that armband at that time. Please ask one question at a time. You want to give them a chance to answer your first question and then ask the se second one. The last one is uh, noting the allergies. You want to be very clear about asking that because you do not want to give them the wrong medications before you do any kind of uh, medication administration especially. And sometimes patients do not understand the difference between just uh, some adverse effect versus true allergic reaction. So if they say, I'm allergic to you know, aspirin, you want to ask them and clarify what kind of allergic reaction do they get with that uh, certain medication.